continuing on here, um, I did a little bit of modifications to the front front of the window because it wasn't seeming to line up properly. If you create um, a line here and a line here connecting both of these points right here to this edge here, then it should help to uh, fix any of the problems in this area. Also, when you turn on Turbo Smooth and you look at the aircraft and you see this kind of like this edge right around the front of the nose of the aircraft. If you don't like that edge there, you can actually fix that by selecting the edge and moving the edge away And that should effectively, uh, effectively um, remove some of the um, bumpiness, the slice. So the next part, we're going to create the wings. So select your left, um, your left viewport here and uh, this time what we're going to do is we're going to use shapes so let's hit alt x on our keyboard to make this invisible and you select your shapes uh, primitives what you want to do is you want to select your line command and you want to draw, draw out the line of your wing now make sure that when you're drawing out your line that there is no curves in the line, that it's all just straight lines. So create something like this, because when we apply our uh, Turbo Smooth modifier, it's actually going to round the whole wing and make it look uh, fairly nice. So next go into your modifier list and hit E on your keyboard and select extrude. And go into our top viewport and we want to extrude it a little ways. We're going to bring this into pretty much the center of the aircraft. Now I can actually see that the wing needs to be a little bit longer here. So I'm going to click on my line again, click on vertex, select this, and move it down to where the wing needs to be. Click on extrude, and it's already set up. So what we want to do is we want to extrude this out to about there. And then we can uh, select our modifier list, press E on your keyboard and select Edit Poly. Next what we want to do is we want to select our element 
um, element selection click on your your wing and then select on polygon selection and deselect everything except for the back of the wing here and you want to delete that this way it helps to keep our polygon limit down next we want to select vertex and we want to just select these vertexes and we want to move them so that they are positioned properly and actually we can actually we can actually select the front polygon and delete this as well because we won't need that at the moment we can select our border command click on your um, polygon border here get your scale command and we want to scale this I believe on the y-axis here position this correctly and scale it down on the y-axis on the front or back viewport here select your move command again hold down shift and drag outward so it finishes the airline wing scale on the y-axis again so it shrinks it position the wing on your top viewport here Alt X makes the wing invisible. Hold down uh, scale on the Y command. Yeah, that looks fairly good. Now, as you can see, the wing is a little bit choppier, but if we apply if we apply a turbo smooth modifier to it you'll see that the wing actually becomes quite nice now this part of it is actually um, needs a little work there so we'll deselect turbo smooth uh, click on your editable poly I would uh, right click and collapse to so it kind of closes off the wing. Now what we what we probably need to do here is let's um, close up the end of the wing here that we opened. So select editable poly, select your edge. And we can just click on both of these edges here and click on bridge and then click on this edge, this edge, and this edge here and then go to your modifier list and press C on your keyboard a couple times uh, and then click on cap holes which it caps that hole there right click, collapse to now to make it, make it so this edge stays sharp go into your top viewport here select editable poly select edge and then drag a selection around all of these edges here click on connect and let's give let's give it a slide of about 90 And let's do one more uh, selection. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, select these and we'll give this a slide of 90. So when we go turbo smooth, we should have a fairly nice wing. So the edge is quite sharp. 
has a nice um, design to it. It's a nice wing. So now what we need to do is attach it to our aircraft. So let's let's texture the wing first. Again, we'll give it this nice purple color. And then you click on your aircraft, click on editable poly, click attach. Say so, okay, and there you have it. And we've got our wings. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I just did for these wings here for the tail fins of the wings. So what we have now is we have both the tail fins and the airline wings.